Hi guys, this is Mohamed Shakil here and uh, today I'm going to show you a couple of options in the adding welding symbols uh, icon or the tool in the drafting workbench of KTR5. So keep watching. So we have uh, two ways of invoking the, uh, what do you say, the welding symbols. So one is by going to insert annotations, symbols and welding symbols. The other way is, is uh, going to the annotation toolbar and just click on the welding drop down and you can find the welding symbol over here so these are the two ways if you cannot find this annotation toolbar you can always right click and uh, browse over here and you can uh, click on it and find and if you don't know the toolbar name you can go to customize and uh, you can go to customize and toolbars and you can restore all contents and restore all positions so you can uh, get all the toolbars back so let's just uh, start off so sometimes when you uh, work with the drafting workbench you need to insert the, uh, the welding symbols so say once I click on the welding symbol you have the option of uh, select the first element or, or indicate the leader anchor point so in this case I'm going to select the first element as the first edge over here and this is where I want my welding symbol so I'm going to select the second edge over here and you have the welding symbol, symbol coming up. Once I click on this, you're going to get the welding symbol uh, window. So you have a couple of options which you need to play with. So, so the upper row, or what you can see over here, is uh, defining the condition of the weld, such as the field weld symbols, the weld around, the side of the weld text, and the side of the intent line, and etc. So you can set the condition of the weld uh, using this upper row that you can see over here. And then comes the size of the weld. You have two sizes, the upper size and the lower size. So if you're uh, doing the weld on both of the sides, you need to set the upper and as well as the lower size. So if you don't want to give the lower size of the weld, you can just remove it and it's going over here. So you have the instant preview option. What you can, whatever you set over here, you can see over here. So all the parameters regarding the size, length and other properties on one side can also be defined for the other side. So <coughs> the first button, what you can see over here, is uh, to define the type of the weld. So once you click on this, you can see different options which it defines different si type of the weld. So you can set whatever type you need to specify. And then the second button gives you the profile of the weld, what kind of profile your weld is. So once you're giving whatever profile you want, the third button, what you can see over here is the type of finish. So what kind of finish it is. So you can specify that and then you can go ahead with the length of the weld. So this is what where you specify how much length your weld is. So once you're done with that, once you're done with specifying the length of the weld, the next thing you need to do, what you can see over here, is uh, an extra option. So that is, uh, you have an option of importing the txt file to this, which, uh, which automatically inserts all the values uh, or all the parameters for the weld in welding symbols. So that's how you can work with the uh, welding symbol in the drafting workbench of KTV5. So I hope uh, you enjoyed my video and I hope uh, you're going to use this or you're going to, uh, this uh, video is going to be helpful for your drafting projects. Thank you so much for watching.